Yo, what's up, crew? Welcome back to the show. She probably just Mike now on the discussion board for today. It's Chris Breezy, man. More trouble following his way. Um, it seems as he was arrested for assault with a deadly weapon after being involved in an incident in which a woman kind of uh, accused him of uh, putting a gun to her head, right? Now, this all happened uh, earlier on today. You know, a lot of people saying Chris Brown was barricaded in his house and that he wouldn't come out. Basically, you know, what happened was the woman was at his house, right? I mean, if you don't know, well, the woman was at his house and uh, she allegedly was in a room and she was talking to another guy or another guy was saying that he was selling jewelry. She basically picked up the necklace and then somebody else came and kind of checked her by, listen, you know, don't touch that. You know, uh, this ain't what you're here for. You're here for a totally different reason, if you know what I mean. Um, so leave all this jury alone. Now, once this happened, Chris Brown allegedly got so heated that he kicked everybody out and that he pointed a gun at her. Right. Subsequently, she said that she, you know, uh, they wouldn't give her her phone back. They wouldn't give her, her shoes back. And then, you know, after that, they tried to get her to sign a waiver, which she didn't do. And then she kind of hid under a under a car because she thought Chris Brown was coming for her. all this crazy stuff. Right. So this ended up leading to Chris Brown actually um, getting arrested for assault with a deadly weapon. And that's kind of crazy, man. I mean, listen, this whole thing, if he gets convicted of this. He can potentially go to jail for up to two to four years and have a $10,000 fine, which that's not a lot. But those two to four years are definitely a notch. You know what I mean? And, hey, I don't know what it is, man. I, I, to me, I think that you have a right to kick anybody out your house. Um, I don't know how valid the whole gun thing is. That's sort of a he say, she say thing. They're going to have to prove that. But one of the kind of damning things in this case would be for Chris Brown's that someone allegedly threw a duffel bag outside of his window filled with guns and drugs. Now, I don't know if those things belong to Chris Brown or not, but, you know, that's what happened. A lot of people saying Chris did it, but I can't give the validity to that. But I just think that this is a whole crazy situation. I want to know what you guys think about this, man. Listen, I know Chris, you know, he has this image, one side being an R&B singer, another side being like this bad boy, you know, just want to be blood. And I, I don't know, man. I, I think that, honestly, you need to kind of separate yourself from those kind of uh, stereotypes that people have of you. You know what I'm saying? This guy is a really talented artist. But, yes, you know, ever since the whole Rihanna incident, he seems like he's been in court every other year, right? And it seems like this guy really can't catch a break. But I think that what he needs to do is just really ground himself and, and find out who his true friends are. Versus who his fake friends are. You know what I'm saying? And and then separate the two and then move on. And, and, and I, honestly, he may even need to move out of California. This is not the place to be. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it just, it just seems like he's just getting a lot of trouble being here. But I want to know what you guys think about it. So hit me down in the comment box. Make sure you share this story across your social networks. Also subscribe to the channel for more news content just like this right here. And I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, it's your partner, Just Mike. Stay up. Much love. And I am out of here.